Hi, it's Chris Crocker in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center with an update on the impressive winter storm impacting the inland northwest. Um, we are still under a winter storm morning through Thursday morning. However, the heaviest snow is behind us and it has been impressive. Uh, some of the morning snowfall totals, especially high uh, in North Idaho, Rathrum, 17 inches of snow, Athol, 15 inches of snow uh, north of Coeur d'Alene, over a foot and a half of snow, very, very common, but also through parts of the Columbia Basin, right in the Spokane area, we have numerous reports of six, seven, eight inches of snow. We are not going to be doubling that, but we will continue to see uh, some snow showers on localized amounts in the three to five inch range through tomorrow morning, although our front has pretty well stalled uh, over North Idaho and uh, just the extreme portions of eastern Washington. It is moving slowly to the east. Here's our forecast radar and it still shows um, some snow around the region and right in the very lowest parts of uh, the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area, essentially below 2,000 feet. That's downtown Spokane uh, through parts of um, I, the I-90 corridor into Spokane Valley, we're seeing more of a rain snow mix or non-accumulating snow. I-90 is uh, nice and clear this afternoon and should be good through the evening commute. Side streets are another issue. Here is midnight tonight. We still some snow showers around the region, but we're not seeing that steady band of snow across the entire region that we had uh, this afternoon. And some of these snow showers could be fairly intense so if they do isolate over your location you could get a quick inch or two of snow over a short period of time so again that three to five inch range through tomorrow morning uh, could vary on either side by quite a bit by uh, where those storms pop up your 12-hour forecast for this evening, uh, that snow is going to continue through the evening and right on through the first part of the overnight into early tomorrow morning. Uh, you'll want to keep close tabs on our KXLY.com school closure page because I think it's going to be another day of a lot of school closures. Many of the side roads have not even been uh, touched in the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area and there's some deep snow, um, particularly on the higher benches where we never did make the transition over to a rain snow mix. Um, in the meantime, we will be updating uh, this video much more frequently than usual. Uh, so check back and I will have some updates as the evening progresses. Thanks so much for watching.